Yo, JP Nation! How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's Super Maxim as usual back with another video. And today we're talking about one of the most anticipated resonators coming to Weather and Waves, the five star healer, the Shorekeeper. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about her kit, skills, resonant chain signature weapons, and how to best use her on your team. Before jumping into it, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Currently, 90% of you that are watching this channel are not subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Join the nation and also a like on this video would help with the YouTube algorithm. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it. First up, let's take a look at some of Shorekeeper's stats and overall role in the game. These are sort of like stats at level 90, so keep that in mind. Base HP is going to be 16,713 at level 90. Base attack is going to be starting at 288. Base defense is going to be starting at 1,100. Attribute is going to be Spectro, as you guys know. Weapon is going to be a Resetifier. And of course, the rarity is going to be 5 star. The Shorekeeper is a powerful and versatile healer and her spectral attribute allows her to work well with many resonators and weathering waves. Her cat is focused on both healing and dealing spectral damage, making her a hybrid support who can assist with both team survivability and offense. Now let's talk about the Shorekeeper's signature weapon, Resetifier, and why it's a must-have for her. Base attack is going to be 413, energy regen is going to be 77%, weapon ability, health increased by 12%. When her intro skill causes healing, it restores 8 of her own Concreto energy and increases the attack of all nearby teammates by 10% for 30 seconds. This can trigger once every 20 seconds and cannot stack with the same effect. This weapon is essential for making the most of the Shorekeeper's healing potential and energy regen, ensuring you can keep the team buff and healthy at the same time. Let's get into the meat of her kit, her skills. The Shorekeeper's ability are built around her ability to heal allies and deal significant spectral damage, while generating and using collapse cores for extra utility. Normal attack is going to be called Origin Calculus. The Shorekeepers can perform up to four consecutive spectral infused attacks. Each hit generates a collapse core, which is crucial for her kit. Heavy attack, hold the attack button to accumulate speculative data segments. Each second generates one segment, and upon release, it deals spectral damage and converts the speculative data into actual data, producing more collapse core. This is a mouthful. Mid-air attack, a plunging attack that generates a collapse core upon hit. Forte circuit, astral core. The shortkeeper collapse core play a major role in her damage output. Upon hitting an enemy with a normal attack, she generates a floating core, which turns into a flare star butterfly after six seconds, automatically attacking enemies for spectral damage. If five cores are present, one instantly transform into butterfly. Detection and transformation, when five segments of actual data are accumulated, her heavy attack or mid-air attack consumes all segments, transforming collapse cores into butterflies and dealing AoE spectral damage. Now let's go over her resonance skills and resonance liberation, which are crucial to her role as a healer. Resonance skill chaos theory. The shorekeeper heals all team members and summons five dim star butterflies, which automatically track and attack enemies with spectral damage. This skill can even be used in mid-air, giving her great versatility. Resonant Liberation and Loop expands the elementary Stellar Realm, a healing zone that restores HP for all allies within uh, it every 3 seconds. The Stellar Realm can evolve based on the situation. Sophisticated Stellar Realm increase crit rate for allies based on the Shorekeeper energy region. Release Stellar Realm takes it even further, boosting crit rate by up to 20% and replacing her intro skill with a more powerful version, Discrement, which restores HP and deals massive spectral damage. Alright guys, uh, Maxim here. Well, editing this video, there have been some changes to the Shorekeeper's kit. Uh, some sort of like drastic, some buffs, some nerfs in that sense. So this is how it goes. Interstellar Realm Stage 2, when a party member uses intro skill within the Outer Stellar Realm, it evolves into the Interstellar Realm. Within the effective range of the Interstellar Realm, for every 0 0.2 uh, of the Shorekeeper's energy regen, all party members gain 0 0.01 bonus crit rate. Up to 12% uh, Interstellar Realm has all the effect effects of the Outer Stellar Realm. Super no Stellar Realm Stage 3, when a party member uses intro skill within the Inner Stellar Realm, it evolves into the Super no Stellar Realm within the effective range of the Super Super no Stellar Realm. For every 0.1 of the Shorekeeper Energy Regen, all party members gain 0.01 increase of crit damage, up to 25%. When the Super no Stellar Realm is generated, Shorekeeper first intro skill triggered in it, in its duration, sorry, will be replaced with the intro skill discrement. This effect takes place once every 
time supernova is generated. The blooded one is what changed in the old, and the crossed out ones is the what it was previously. And this was added to enhance intro. The intro skill discrement can be only cast one time for each supernova sterile realm generated. So according to what we see now, I feel like the shorekeeper is not going to be a brain dead character. It's going to be a strategic character that can be used in every team composition, which leads me to our intro and outro skills. The shorekeeper intro and outro skills provide some incredible utility. The shorekeeper appears to heal all nearby and summon dim star butterflies. These butterflies deal resonance skill damage, providing both healing and offensive capabilities. Outro skill, binary butterfly, summon two butterflies, flare star butterfly and dim star butterfly. These butterflies circle nearby teammates for 30 seconds. The flare star butterflies allows nearby allies to dodge automatically when hit and this can trigger up to five times. The dim star butterfly amplifies all nearby team members damage by 15%. The shorekeeper inherent skills are absolute lifesavers literally. The cycle of life. When a team member suffers a fatal injury, they are revived with 50% of the shorekeeper's HP. The shorekeeper loses the same amount amount of HP and this effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. The second one is going to be called self-gratification. While the shorekeeper is in the team or her stellar realm is active, her energy regen increased by 10%. If Rover is in the same team, both characters receive the same energy regen boost. Which leads me to the best team compositions. With all of that in mind, how do you build the perfect team around the shorekeeper? Pair the shorekeeper with a high damage character to trigger a devastating spectral reaction. Her healing ensures the team's survivability while the damage dealers maximize output. The shorekeeper is a flexible support resonator and she excels in team compositions that benefits from her powerful healing, energy regeneration and buffs. Let's break down some optimal team step ups for her. Spectral centric composition. The shorekeeper can pair well with other spectral resonators taking advantage of her spectral damage output while keeping allies sustained with her healing. Her resonance abilities ensure the team stays healthy while the butterflies contribute to steady damage output. Teams that rely on energy regeneration will benefit from the shorekeeper high energy regen and resonance chain. Characters who rely on frequent ultimate abilities will regain great synergy from her stellar realm buffs, especially in her release stellar realm. The shorekeeper fits perfectly in teams where you need sustained damage output while also prioritizing survivability. She can be a cornstone support from any main DPS, allowing them to deal damage without worrying about their health. I'm not going to be specifically naming characters because yeah, this is going to be uh, a question that can be answered once we get the stats and everything that uh, the shorekeeper has. In conclusion, the shorekeeper versatility as a support makes her an excellent fit in almost any team composition. Whether you are going for high energy regen setups or just need a reliable healer and buffer to keep your team alive, she truly shines in any situation where healing and consistent buffs are needed. And we're going to be seeing core games uh, sort of making the game a little bit harder, especially that this character is going to be so versatile and also like contribute a lot to the team. So I think they're going to be releasing harder content in order to balance the game out, especially as the characters are going to be getting uh, stronger and stronger with every patch. So once we have more leaks and also information, I'll let you guys know. So make sure to subscribe for that. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach that 10k subscribers before the end of the year. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.